All right, so DaVinci Resolve 17 has just launched and there are a ton of updates and features, like over 300. So that's why in this video, I'm gonna share with you the top five features of the DaVinci Resolve 17 update that you have to know about. So all of that stuff and more coming up. But first, if you're new here, my name is Billy Ripka and I make weekly DaVinci Resolve tutorials about different effects, transitions, and workflows that'll help you become a better editor. So if you wanna level up your editing skills, click that subscribe button and the bell notification to stay up to date on the newest videos put out. But let's get into it. All right, so starting off at number five, we have sync audio on timeline. Now this one is more of a quality of life improvement. A lot of people, including myself, have just been waiting and wanting for this. And finally, it's here. So in DaVinci Resolve, what we're gonna do is drag our audio and video onto our timeline like this. Now to get this feature to actually work, you need to make sure that the audio you're trying to sync up are actually on different audio tracks. So I'll just go ahead and drag mine down like this and then highlight both of them, right click and go to auto align clips and then go based on waveform. So now it's just gonna quickly work its magic and sync it up. I know it's a small change, but I'm just so glad that we can finally do this. Now moving on to number four, we have smart reframe. Now this one is super cool, especially if you do a lot of repurposing your content onto other platforms like Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. I guess that's still a thing, but uh, yeah. So if you're gonna post this clip to Instagram, let's say you're using a square resolution. So in the project settings, you would go down here and change your timeline resolution from 1920 by 1080 to 1080 by 1080. This is gonna make your timeline a square. Then to actually fill up the frame, we'll use our zoom to zoom in. Then if we just go on the timeline and look around, you can see that our frame is really not tracking too well with her. So instead of keyframing the movement like we used to do, all you have to do is in the inspector tab, hit this drop down menu under smart reframe and hit reframe right there. Now, if we look back at our clip, you can see that DaVinci Resolve actually keeps our subject in frame perfectly. Now, this is super cool and super convenient. It's just gonna save so many people so much time. All right, so moving on to number three, we have shape nodes. Now, these are a whole new class of nodes altogether. No more having to bring in our own vector files and doing all of that other crap we can actually make vectors and create motion graphics so much easier with this new class of shape nodes. Let me just show you because there's a lot of them. So in Fusion, first off, you can see that there are some things that look different and this is really mainly with this effects library and the UI and just so many cool things that were updated. However, that's not what we're talking about. What we are talking about is shape nodes. So if I'm just scrolling down here in the effects library and I can go down to shape, you can see that we have a lot of different nodes. All of them start with S for shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the ellipse node right here by clicking on it, which by the way is super cool. And to actually be able to see any of these shapes, what you'll have to do is also bring in an S render node. This is just gonna allow us to see what is going on with this ellipse right here. Now, for any of these shape nodes, you're always gonna need this render node at the end. So then just connect the render node to the media out right here and we can see our shape. Now, if we go ahead and grab something like our S outline and put that in right here, you can see that we have an outline. Then what we could also do, which is super cool, we can add in this S duplicate and then add a couple of copies of it like this and offset them. So now we have more copies. Now why this is huge is because it's going to make motion graphics so much easier to make because before it was a pain in the butt. Now with these new shape nodes, this is going to be so much easier. Now moving on to number two, we have the color warper. Now this one is like game changer for so many people. Now, if you've ever heard of a plugin called Nob Color Remap, this is pretty much it, but built into DaVinci Resolve. Now, what you'll do to actually access the color warper is go into the color tab, and then you'll see this snowflake looking thing right here. This one is the color warper. So click on that, and you'll get this weird spectrum of colors right here. Now, what you can do is go up onto our image like that, and you see that our cursor is actually an eyedropper. So here's the really cool part. 
if I want to bring out the blues in this sky, all I'm gonna do is click and hold and then drag it to the right. And you can see how much the blue actually pops out. Now clearly this one is probably gonna be oversaturated. This tool is so powerful right here. So let's just say we don't want our shrubbery right here all bright and stuff. What we can do is go into the chroma and luma tab right here and then click on our trees and just adjust it so that they're not so bright. The power that you can have with this tool is so awesome and mind boggling. So this one right here is definitely a number two. So now moving on to the number one spot, we have audio inside of Fusion, finally. This one has been so requested in the Fusion tab because you did not have any audio in the Fusion tab. Now, if we go inside the Fusion tab and we just take a listen, you can hear that audio is playing. Now this one is a hardcore quality of life improvement for people who use Fusion because now we're able to do stuff like edit to the beat. We can add effects to the beat. We don't have to constantly be switching back and forth between the edit tab and the Fusion tab. It's all right here now. And if you don't wanna hear the audio, you can toggle it on or off right here. And if you wanna actually see the waveform, you can go into the keyframe editor right here and under media in one, you'll hit this drop down menu and you'll have the waveform right here. This is a huge quality of life improvement right here. Like this is game changer for so many people. So that's why it has my number one. So what are your new favorite features in DaVinci Resolve 17? Let me know in the comments below. And also, if you thought this video was helpful, give it a like and also share it with your friends so that they can know the awesome features that are in DaVinci Resolve 17. So if you want more videos like this, click on the top for a playlist with all of my DaVinci Resolve tutorials or click on the bottom for a playlist that YouTube thinks that you would like. But until the next one, peace.